Good morning. I've been taking a break from learning Rust to work more on my WebGL voxel sandbox game. It's not really a game, but I digress. So I wanted to do a quick video to show what happens when you get the winding order wrong in your um, points that make up the triangles that your graphics card draws. Uh, let's see. Uh, kind of sometimes can look like this. Uh, the outline shows that there is floor here, but of course the top face of the floor is not being rendered. And there's a cube here, but the front or the, the faces that are closest to the character are not being rendered. Just You just see the back ones. So first, some quick background. My current goal for this engine is to support increased voxel density. As you can see, my character, like the blocks come up to nearly the stomach on the character. And I wanted to have two blocks within that space. So basically, um, each chunk of the world is 32 blocks wide by 32 high by 32 deep. I can't really tell what is a chunk here because uh, its rendering is off, but I wanted to increase this to 64 on each side. When you do that, it ends up resulting in eight times the amount of points that are being rendered, and at least with my current measure that I was using. Um, and that's just too much for the GPU to handle at 60 frames per second, so it was running at 30 frames per second. And you can see what what the difference is. 64 cubed uh, divided by 32 cubed is 8. So 8 times the amount of cubes, at least in a chunk space. And if your measure doesn't change, you know, that could be 8 times the number of points and triangles that are trying to be that are being drawn. So I'm working on a new Measure that can combine the voxel faces into fewer triangles, which meant I had to refactor my texture atlas setup and several other things. So right here, I think it's possible. I think my winding order is wrong, and my texture atlases might be wrong because if you look over here, there's brick way up there, which I don't quite under. Oh, I, that, that means my offsets are wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, if I highlight that, you can see that, yeah, my offsets are wrong within the texture atlas. So it's trying to draw that cube face um, using a portion of the texture atlas that actually spans two separate textures. Okay, so it is an offset issue for that at least. And here you can see that my um, texture coordinates are wrong. I arrange my atlas so that I can make use of uh, texture repetition. So the texture, um, yeah, it's really hard to explain, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah, I need to, the dimensions here are wrong. I should have like this be a multiple of three wide. Right now it looks like it's stretching one panel of least texture across three blocks, and it should be um, tiling it instead with texture repetition. So I need to fix that. Oh, it's doing it in this direction too, down there. Okay. So either way, I've got some things to check. And it ends up, I mean, it's kind of neat to look at. Oh, my texture here is upside down for one. I need to flip it. And again, the offsets are wrong because I wonder if it's actually, yeah, the offsets are just wrong. Okay. So the winding being wrong means that face culling is not working as it's supposed to. So with the GPU, you can turn on face culling and it will skip drawing faces that are um, on the backside or on the side farthest from the viewport or the character in this case but I think the winding order is wrong and it's calling the front, the face that's closest to me instead of the faces that are farther away. If I change the winding order to be clockwise, which is pretty easy to do, defaults to counterclockwise. And I thought that was the way that I organized my, the points for each triangle, but apparently not. 
Let's see. That actually looks better. But I didn't want to have to change the default winding to clockwise. I wanted to, to stick with the counterclockwise default because that's what most people will expect it to be. Oh yeah. Text cord boundaries. This should be water, but it's oddly drawing. Oh, I know what's going on there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. Maybe. It's odd that it's not doing it all up there though. I think um so I'm arranging my textures in the atlas in such a way that I can draw, I think, four or six rows worth of blocks. And then it will repeat it um, in the x direction. So I can draw a triangle that spans, I think, up to six rows. And then, you know, that maps to a certain portion of the texture atlas that has six rows of this texture stacked vertically. Side to side, you know, the, the, the texture atlas is only 128 wide, and that's where repetition takes place. So if I ask it to draw a triangle from here all the way up to here, um, the texture atlas is not that wide. It's only 128 wide, one block. So I tell it to use the text chords from, say, 0, 0 to, like, uh, three, except three, which would be way over here. And that is, you know, texture atlas, texture coordinates are only supposed to span from zero to one. So the, the GPU and the, the drawing libraries see that, hey, he said he wants it three wide, so let's just repeat this portion three times while we're drawing this triangle. That's a very poor explanation, but that's kind of how it works. And that allows me to keep a relatively small texture atlas, make use of repetition, which means less work for me. And uh, yeah, have an efficient rendering step. And save on GPU memory as well. But yeah, so I had to fix face culling, the winding order, and fix my texture offsets, and then we might be in business. Now I haven't, this is not working at double density right now. This is still chunks of 32. But once I do fix those things, then I can bump it up to 64 cubed chunks. And hopefully there'll be a lot fewer triangles to render and we can manage 60 frames per second. Okay, I'll showcase that at a later video. but. Thought it was just neat to show what happens when you get your winding order wrong and what happens when you get your texture offsets wrong. It can be an interesting world to look at. Thanks for watching.